Now, this man, uh, Hafiz Saeed, is accused, uh, here he is, of, uh, he's accused by the US, in fact, of masterminding the 2008 terror attacks in Mumbai. 166 people died in those attacks. More than 300 were injured. They were events which traumatized India. Well, the United States has now banned Saeed's organization and offered a $10 million reward for his arrest. The BBC's Andrew North met Hafiz Saeed in the Pakistani city of Lahore, where he's still free to live and work. You'd never guess this is one of America's most wanted men, as Hafiz Saeed greets his followers. The US and India accuse him of being the mastermind of the 2008 Mumbai attacks. Hafiz Saeed says he just runs an Islamic charity and in a rare interview accuses Washington of unfairly targeting his organization to please India. America always takes decisions based on Indian dictation. Now it's imposing this new ban because it needs India's help in Afghanistan. I had nothing to do with the Mumbai attacks, and Pakistan's courts said all India's evidence against me was just propaganda. India is still traumatized by the three-day assault on Mumbai in which 166 people died, including seven Americans. Both countries say they have extensive evidence that Saeed orchestrated the attacks with Pakistani government help, and India has repeatedly demanded he face an independent trial. Despite the US bounty on his head, it's clear Hafiz Saeed has little fear of being arrested. But as long as he's able to live so freely here in Lahore, there's little chance of a breakthrough in relations between Pakistan and its old enemy, India. And when the Pakistani Prime Minister, Nawaz Sharif, went to Delhi recently to meet his new Indian counterpart, Narendra Modi, Hafiz Saeed was vocally opposed. You say you're innocent, but until you are prepared to uh, put yourself before the courts to test that, India um, can never move on. Aren't you the obstacle to better relations between India and Pakistan? India makes me an issue to divert attention from Kashmir, which is the real issue. Kashmir should be free and India must withdraw its hundreds of thousands of troops who are occupying the territory and give Kashmiris the right to decide their future. We are not the obstacle to better relations. And then Hafiz Saeed, the man with a $10 million US bounty on his head, quietly leaves. It's time for afternoon prayers. Andrew North, BBC News in Lahore.